Hey, uh, how much do you know about history of Japan? History of Japan? Yeah. Mm, I studied in school, but I forgot most of the stuff. Good. There's this cool video that I saw it and I love it. I wanted to check it out. This guy called Bill Wirtz, I think that's how we pronounce his name. Okay. And there's this one about history of Japan. Okay, so he's not Japanese, but he made a video about Japan. Yeah. Mm, okay. There you go, this one. Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. In the year negative 40,000, it was here and you could walk to it and some people walked to it. Then it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island and now there's lots of trees because it's warmer. So now there's people on the island. They're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains. Oh yeah. I heard that because Japan was connected to China Island. China Island, whatever. China. That's yeah. why like some people, like they were like, some. that's why some Japanese, we look like Mongolian. Mongolian oh. and Japanese, we have like same kind of features on the face. Oh, really? That's what I heard, yeah. That's why... In Japan, we have two types of face. Okay, go. One is Mongolia, Mongolian face, and yeah. one is like Yayoi face. Yayoi is like ancient Japanese. And I think I'm more like Mongolian face. Oh, Mongolia. Now, like Hakuho? Mm, Hakuho is from Mongol. Yeah, like it's kind of, for me, the first time I saw it, I thought he was Japanese. See, you cannot tell, right? Yeah, it's hard, so. so. I think we are closer to Mongolian than Chinese or Korean. <laughs> this may be a little sounds weird, but before I could not tell the difference between Japanese, Chinese, Korean. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you? Yes. Okay. Eating nuts off trees and using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Ding Dong is the outside world and they have technology from the future, like really good metal and crazy rice farms. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. But this one was the- Only here? Yeah, seems like. Eh, it's not even Ibaraki is included, I think. Oh yeah. So it's just this area. Only on this area people are living. I got a question on that. What? How, how does he know those? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, he <laughs> must have made lots of research, no? Yeah. Like, I think to make this kind of it takes forever. Because... Yeah. Looks... Like, if... He, he needs to summarize on his way, too. Yeah. But so, really, why, why just right here? Because up, 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 up there is cold? Maybe it's too cold. You cannot make rice. Oh. But I'm pretty sure people... In Hokkaido, there were some Eskimo living over there. Mm -hmm. But it's not, maybe it's like, was a separate. Mm. Mm. Even not Okinawa. Yeah. Where is Okinawa? This thing? It's here. Oh, I see. Yamato. Most, most important, ruled by a heavenly super person. It's like Emperor Kyoto Shoto. area. Knock, knock, get the door. Oh, yeah. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone Shoto to try this hot new religion from Biek. Please try this religion, he said. <laughs> no, said everybody. How try cool is that? it. Try he said. it. Try no, it. said everybody like again, that. quieter yeah, this yeah, time. And so the religion was put yeah. into place. Oh, so this time, Buddhism came to Japan. Yeah. And now, we are like one of the biggest Buddhism country, no? Really? Yeah, I think it's like 80 to 90% of people are Buddhists in Japan, I would say. Mm. Mm. I think it's originally come from. Yeah, he India. said busy. I cannot pronounce it. Say it. what? Uh, the counter he said before. Busy, busy, stuff. Biakt. Yeah, biakt. What's biakt? I don't know. And all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more and making the government more like China's government, which is a government okay, that governs Okay, hold on, more. hold on. Yeah. It's funny. Why? So it means before. Japan was copying China, right? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. Why, why is funny? now, China is copying Japan. <laughs> but before, we are the first one who copied China. Well, I hope Chinese people don't get mad with that. <laughs> it's just my opinion. Okay. Hi, China, it's they funny. said. Hi, dipshit, said China. 
Can you call us something else other than dipshit? Said Japan. Well, China like, called said China. Japan dipshit. <laughs> I mean, I know he's making fun, but still, like, what? <laughs> dipshit. Okay. How about sunrise? How about sunrise lane? Lane? Said Japan. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped. Okay, Japan copy again. Yeah, that, that I knew too. Moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while, right here. Kyoto. And they conquered the north finally. Get that squared away. Hey, a rich Kukai. hipster named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits hipster. China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art okay. and literature to be great for China. a long time. And the royal palace oh, yeah. turned into such a. Hold on, how they can. Communicate each other. Yeah, I don't know. He learned Chinese. He was, yeah, he learned Chinese. Mm -hmm. Dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. So if you live outside the palace, how are you supposed to protect your shit from criminals? Hire a samurai. <laughs> Everyone started hiring samurai. Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. The samurai. samurai became organized and powerful, more powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here, they let the emperor still be emperor, but yeah, really, huh? Mm. So it means samurai was like cops or bodyguard that time. So samurai was hired by someone they always, always to protect. It's like yakuza now, <laughs> kind of. I, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, you are the Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I told you, I'm not good at history. I'm, history is not my thing. The Shogun is actually in control. <laughs> Breaking news, the Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China. Of course, this, this, Please this respect us awesome. or else we might invade you oh, oh. as well. Oh, okay. The Mongol was Japan. strong, huh? So yeah. the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. But they tried again and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Uh -oh. Then the emperor overthrows the shogunate. Then the shogunate overthrows him back and moves to Kyoto and they makes don't a new have shogunate. Luck. And the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants. That's fine. <laughs> Mongolians, Mongolians always are. Twice, tornado. What Twice. are the odds? Yeah. But it's true. That's what I'm wondering. I mean, I don't know, but he said, I, I just believe on him. Yeah. We, we, we got his word for it, okay. There's more art. Like painting Twice. with less colors, collaborative poetry, plays, monkey fun, tea parties, gardening, architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid. So he tries Ooh. to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says, okay, but then the shogun has a kid. So now who's it gonna be? Vote now on your phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting uh -oh. with each other for local power, and it's anybody's game. <laughs> knock, knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit. Well, like we didn't come to take over. And guns. <laughs> and Jesus. Jesus. So that's cool, but everyone's still fighting each other for control now with guns. <laughs> and wouldn't it so be nice why to there's so many uh, capital, Christians right in now Japan? Is puppets with no one because that this I know. Is... Because uh, shogun or emperor? I think shogun. Anyway, people were punished if you believe on Jesus. Uh -huh. And then there's like, that we call it Humie. Mm. This has like a Jesus picture or something. Mm. And then to prove that you're not Christian, you have to step on the Jesus. And oh. if they cannot do it, I don't know if they get killed or they got punished. <laughs> That's scary stuff. Mm. Hey. I think I jumped stuff, huh? Ready to make a run for it. But first, they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. Surprise, the smaller clan Oda. wins. Oda. And the leader of that clan Oda. steals the idea Oda. of invading the capital and invades yeah, the capital. Then, yeah. And it goes very like, well. Ibaraki He's about halfway is through. was called Hitachi before. Huh, why? Has different name before. That's, why? I don't know. That's good, you don't know. I, I love when you say, I don't know. But whatever it was. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what whatever it was, okay. Oh, Nobunaga. Hmm. But anyway. Conquering Japan when someone who in, works for him kills average, them, and then someone else who works for him kills them. And that guy in Japan finishes was like conquering one Japan. Mm. So and then like he confiscated this. everybody's swords so and made some rules. Everybody's fighting, <laughs> but they are tiny like this. <laughs> I'm picturing though. I'm just picturing. <laughs> no having a sword or gun. Mm. No climbing the social ladder. What do you mean? Oh, okay. I, I understand. What does it mean? I think. Like you said, if you're born shogun, you can be if son of shogun, you can be shogun. If you're born son of samurai, you can be samurai. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I think what, what, that's what he means. Oh yeah, so 
if you are a shogun, you can only be shogun. Yeah. If you are a fireman, you cannot be samurai kind yeah. of stuff. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to invade Korea and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, yeah, right, it's not going to be this kid, it's going to be one of us, because we're grown-ups. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. A lot of people support him, a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins, and he starts a new government. He still lets the emperor dress like an emperor, and have very nice things. But don't get confused, this is the new government, and they are very strict. So strict they close the country. No one can leave, and no one can come in. Except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell shit. But they have to do it right here. Now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased, schools were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, sexy and Dutch time. studies. People started to study European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Over time, the economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. Knock knock. It's the United States. With huge United boats. States. Guns. Oh my gosh. Gunboats. Open. The country. Oh, hold Stop. on. Having it I know this guy. Okay. Who is this guy? He is, his name is Perry. Perry? Yeah. We call, I remember like this in school, uh, Perry from Black Ships. Huh. But I didn't know his real name. I mean, first name is Matthew. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so he's States. important There's in really the history nothing they could do, that I know. So they signed a contract Japan, right? that lets United yeah. States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This sucks. And with almost very little outside England. help, they overthrew the shogunate and somehow made the emperor the emperor again and oh, moved him to Edo, the which they renamed the Eastern again. Capital. Huh. They made a new government, which was a lot more Western. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western and a military that so was Japan pretty Western. Become pretty Western. And do you know what else is Western? Yeah. That's right, I, it's I conquering some, stuff. Some so what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here. You know that? There's an anime called Golden Kamui. I've heard they, of that. Before. Yeah, they talk about this time, this period in time when Japan and Russia, they fought. Mm. It's pretty good if you didn't watch it yet. Watch it. It's pretty good anime. So it's like a history anime. The ba based on the history. Yeah, 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 sort of. Yeah. And Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade? I meant upgrade. And Japan says, can you maybe chill? And Russia says, how about maybe you chill? Japan is kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So Japan yeah. and Great Britain make an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Feeling oh, confident, see. Japan goes to war against Russia. Why? Just for Hold a on. moment. Why? And they both get tired and Japan and England was scared of Russia. Because yeah, why? Of the mil military they are having? I... Well, he, he... The, the, they don't say in Golden Kamui? No, in Golden Kamui they don't say, they don't talk about why mm -hmm. Japan was scared. They, they, they say, they talk about how the war was and how fast it was too. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why. So you don't learn about that in Japanese history, right? In school. Not that I know of. I mean, I may learn and I forgot, so I don't know. Stop. It's time for World War I. The world is about to have a war because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy and all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering no. stuff and wants more. And the next thing on their list is this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, really? which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with what? Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because so Austria confusing. was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia so shot the leader of Austria's Canada. ass. Or actually shot him in the head. And Britain is currently friends with Japan. So you know what that means. Dutch Japan should take the islands, which they wanted to do anyway. So they called why? Britain on the telly to sort of let them Japan, know. Japan, why I don't like Japan is so tiny island. Why I don't understand why they want to conquer like all the places. It's too greedy. No? Yeah, well, yeah, tell me, tell me about why, why? Yeah. I don't know because Western thinking come. That's what they say. Oh, so we are you 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 are blaming us Westerns. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, make, you should see, if you see in the map here, it's kind of impressive, like Japan saw a tiny island and yeah. went straight. 
to get everything. I mean, I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know Japan even conquered Korea. Hmm. And then they did it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff. Now the war is over, and Why congratulations, is over? Japan. You technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes. Where they oh, Japan is here. Yeah. Showing only half the face. <laughs> I like this detail in the picture. <laughs> you know, the guy who's showing the picture, but he's not too important, but he's there. <laughs> he's just being there, just because. <laughs> There's some small flags. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's funny. Oh. They decided who owns what. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. Really? You also get to join the post-war yeah, mega alliance. The League of Nations. Whose mission statement is to try not to take over the world. The Great Depression is bad, and Japan's economy is now crappy. But the military is doing just fine, and it invades Manchuria. And the League of Nations no. is like, no, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, how about I do anyway? <laughs> And Japan invaded more and more and more, uh -oh. and more of China and was planning to invade the also, entire the was China, got right? mail. It's from Germany, the new they leader of Germany. Talk about he has a cool mustache and he's trying to take over the world and needs friends. Like, this yeah. also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends because they had so much. What? Hold on. So, oh my gosh. So, Nazis and Japan was in a friendship. Yeah. Not just there, like no. Nazi, Japan, and Mussolini, I think, the Italian. Mussolini? Yeah. yeah this, Mussolini? this guy, he, this Italian guy here. Japan. Chincana. Oh my gosh, Japan. They got with bad guys. Germany huh? is invading the neighbors. Then they invade it the neighbors' means? neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' They're neighbors. They're bad guys. Happened to get oh. Britain, so bad guys. Like the United Yakuza. States started helping Britain what? because. Poor <laughs> 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 Yakuza people. No, why, why become. I don't know, like. For me, it's interesting. They are good friends. I started not helping yeah. Japan because they're friends what? and our friends are not friends. Plus okay, so hold on, it's confusing. But England yeah. had friendship with Japan yeah. before. Yeah. But because we become friends with Nazis, it's mm -hmm. confusing. No, no. The thing is, it's why? Because in here they said this island belonged to Germany before. Mm. And now, Japan took islands from Germany, mm. but now they're becoming friends. I mean, not just it's Germany, right? Yeah. So confusing. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much Japanese learn in school about history? A lot. Like, I learned from elementary school. But all those, school. all those things that he's talking about in the video, he didn't know. I mean, I, I, I knew some stuff, like Oda Nobunaga, Nanake, Shotoku Taishi, but I, I didn't know they made a friendship with Nazis ever, <laughs> never, ever, ever. Invading the, entire ocean. the United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb, bigger than any other bomb ever, oh, yeah. just in case. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV, and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to war. Spitzer. And they say yes. And then Germany, I'm as sorry. a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe, and they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. And they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they drop it on Japan. Uh-oh. They actually drop two. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm sorry. The I way suppose not the laugh. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. The thing is, is the way he says it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not laughing because he threw a bomb, just because it's the way he says it's funny. The United States installed a new government, inspired by the United States government, with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle. And Japan starts making TVs, VCRs, automobiles, and camcorders as fast as they can, and also better than everybody else. They get rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Bye. <laughs> okay. It's over. That was... Wow. That yeah. is like really short version of what... Thousand years of history, huh? I, I love it. learned so many things that I didn't know before. I, I mean, like in in Japan, mainly we studied what happened inside of Japan. Hmm. I don't I don't remember studying much about like relationship with other countries. Why? Why they don't teach those things? I think first of all, like World War Two, we learned, but it's just like really small sentence and hmm. it's done. I think it's because. Japan knows we did bad things to other countries, and then 
if we did something bad, we don't want to teach kids what we did wrong, kind of mm. stuff. I see. So I think that's the reason. I hope you like it. And thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.